Threat casting is a process where we push ourselves against everything that we know now. We think about what the future is going to look like. We say, what do we need to do? So what do we need to do today, tomorrow, five years from now to disrupt, mitigate, and recover from those threats? How can we better prepare to make the future safer? MasterCard has been doing threat casting exercises for five years now. and We find it's a great way to bring together people to collaborate to protect the ecosystem. Every year we choose a different topic to focus on and what future threats might be spun out of that particular threat area. This year we're looking at regional, national, and international destabilizations to the financial ecosystem. So we're really looking at big, big areas that will have an effect on not only business, but also consumers and customers. All organizations have limited resources, and you want to focus those in the things where you believe threats are coming. It is critical that we know what threats are out there before they become a reality, and that's exactly why we do these threat casting exercises, because we're able to use a very evidence-based methodology to protect and defend against the threats of tomorrow. This threat casting exercise really helped me think about how as a board member I should be thinking about long-term sustainable value of the companies I serve on. Never done anything like this before, never had to think so differently about the future, or really try to think so far out in advance. It really challenges you to think differently about your role, the impact you can have, and how you approach uh, strategy and execution. It's such a unique experience because we bring in so many different parties into our threat casting workshops. The expert speakers that were brought in really add value to how we think about these threats 10 years in the future. We bring people together from all parts of the community, public sector, private sector, government, companies, even NGOs, because we want to get those different views on those future threats. They can come and workshop, they can learn how to threat cast, learn how the future might impact their business, and then they'll get a report down the road that allows them to really take that information and leverage it to protect their own organization. There are all different walks of life in our, our breakout group, and I think it really gives us good perspective and opens up the thinking in the room. Once we bring these things outside of the room, uh, I expect even more ideas to help drive us forward. I'm a UX researcher, and typically we think about products in three to five years, um, but we want to go past that. And the only way for us to, to really do that is to do threat casting. The outputs of these kinds of activities help us with our clients to envision changes or improvements to playbooks of the future that they might use to conduct their emissions. This is a model that I would love to replicate. I can already think of a use case scenario for my organization, for NACD. We really want to protect the entire ecosystem, from the smallest merchant to the largest financial institution and everything in between. And threat casting allows us to project how we need to focus our efforts as we think about future threats. It's not just about MasterCard. It's about the entire ecosystem making the future safer. We're all in this together, and threat casting provides a great format for us to practice how we're going to play.